The modern day piano keyboard design is made up of the 12 tone chromatic scale, divided into seven white notes and five black notes. Have you ever wondered why there are more white notes than black? Are white notes better than black ones? Is a C or a D somehow superior to an F sharp or a B flat? The simple answer is that the layout of the keys is not something that was deliberately designed or arrived at by using logic. The earliest keyboards only had the seven notes of the diatonic scale, namely C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, and these were all placed side by side. There is some debate as to how the diatonic scale was invented or discovered, but there is agreement that it has to do with low ratio harmonics and notes complementary to the tonic, dominant, and subdominant. As people experimented with additional harmonics, the B flat was introduced and simply placed in between the A and the B. This presented a problem as an octave span became too large for the average person. Someone had the idea of placing the B-flat on another row and making it shorter, narrower, and painting it black. This idea was accepted, and keyboards remained this way for decades. By experimenting with more distant harmonics, eventually additional notes were introduced, namely the C-sharp, D-sharp, G-flat, and A flat. We now had 12 tones that were tuned exactly to the harmonic frequencies of the root. This was called the mean tone temperament and was completely harmonious to the key of C. These 12 intervals, however, were not spaced equally apart and made it impossible to play in any key other than C. It made some sense at this point to favor the diatonic scale of C by having those seven notes all in a single row, with the others considered accidentals. A little further in the evolution of scales, the tuning was tempered so that there was an equal musical distance between all twelve tones. This allowed people to play in any key and the C scale was no longer more important than any other scale. This also made all notes equal in value. The layout of the keys, however, did not keep up with this progress, and keyboards remained slanted towards the key of C, with whole tones between some white keys and half tones between others. A fix for this is more than 500 years overdue. Let's have a look at some of the problems that this layout presents. If you look at the white keys on a conventional piano, you'll see that they are all spaced an equal distance apart. This gives the impression that the musical spacing between white keys is also equal. However, this is not the case. The musical distance between a C and an E appears to be the same as between an A and a C. You can see, however, that the interval from C to E is made up of five semitones, while the interval from A to C is made up of only four semitones. The true musical distance is more obvious if you look at only the rear of the keys. Looking at just the rear of the keys, you can clearly see that the octave is made up of 12 equally spaced semitones. Playing on a design like this would be difficult, as the keys are all much too narrow. Let's see how we can fix this. 
Let's start by splitting the 12 notes into two rows of six. Next, let's widen the keys to better accommodate the fingers. Let's add additional rows to increase fingering options. And finally, let's give the keys a shape that allows fingers to easily reach in between keys and across rows. Congratulations! You've just built a Lippens keyboard. These are the patterns on a conventional piano keyboard that are made by a diminished triad in all 12 keys. This is the single pattern for the same diminished triad on the Lippens keyboard. The pattern remains the same, regardless of the root. The diatonic scale is still a fundamental of modern music. And with the Lippens keyboard, you get the best of both worlds. You get an equally spaced, isomorphic keyboard, but the diatonic scale of C is outlined by the blue keys. On the Lippens keyboard, however, this pattern stays the same, regardless of the key on which you start. With the Lippens keyboard, patterns are reinforced, muscle memory comes faster, and students develop accurate interval awareness.